Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because I'm making something that's a little bit different than what I'm used to making and I absolutely love it. So first of all, the idea for this DIY came from one of my friends over on Instagram. She sent me a picture and she asked me if I could recreate this. And it was an idea that she found on Pinterest. Before I get onto the details on that, I wanna welcome you if this is your first time here and if it is, I would love it if you became part of the DIY family by subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. I am going to have a little bit of information for you guys here so um, the intro might be just a tad bit longer than normal but if you guys could bear with me I would really really appreciate it. I could not believe that this thing was like $2,500. It was ridiculous. It actually looks like it's a life-size type of decor piece. I guess it makes a little bit more sense that it's that expensive but still I don't think I would ever in my life pay $2,500 for something like this. So this is where we're going to get to the fun part okay and I do get comments in the comment section asking me if I take ideas or if I could recreate a certain thing but I can't really see what you're talking about unless you send me your ideas through DM on Instagram you guys can follow me over there and send me all the ideas that you want I will link my Instagram down below like I do in every video but if you are on Pinterest I would love for you guys to follow me over there I'm gonna be creating a board specifically for challenge DIYs so challenge DIYs are gonna be DIY ideas that you guys will send over to me and maybe twice a month I will try and recreate that exact thing so I thought it would be a really fun thing to do to get you guys engaged once you go into that board you will hit join board or something like that and then I will approve it once you guys are approved you guys can send me as many ideas as you'd like another fun thing that I wanted to do was that if we get this video to 5,000 likes I will recreate the life-size version of today's DIY on a budget not $2,500 okay I think that's it let's get on to the DIY so I'll be using four of these giant paint stir sticks from Walmart. They come in a pack of three for 96 cents each pack. So I want this to be rectangular, so I'm gonna make the two sides shorter. So just taking a ruler, whatever, you know, measure out how short you want them. And then taking this little Dollar Tree handsaw, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna start gluing the sides together. I think this ended up being about 19 and a half inches by 21 inches and that includes the little stands that I'm going to put it on. Feel free to use wood glue. I don't really have the patience to wait for it to dry so I'll be using my hot glue. It looks pretty even to me. It's not wobbly or anything, but I am going to take more hot glue and just put it in the inside of each corner. For the legs or stand or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to take some Dollar Tree wooden blocks. I'm going to make four pieces out of four Jenga blocks or wooden blocks, whatever you want to call them. So you're going to use a total of 16 and you guys, it's pretty easy to just glue them together. I do this all the time. You guys watch me do it all the time. I bet you watch a lot of people do it all the time. So, you know. <laughs> just glue away. Sorry you guys, like I said the other day, uh, sometimes I don't realize if I'm not fully in the picture or in the screen and then sometimes I don't realize that my camera is not focusing as you guys can see here. But I am just taking my hot glue and then hot gluing the ends. I am starting with the ends and then working my way in. So once I have those glued on there, I'm going to measure from the very end to towards the center about seven and a half inches and make my little mark and then go on to the other side and mark seven and a half inches and then um, glue the other two pieces together on there. That helped me make it as even as possible. You guys, I was super excited when I found these at Dollar Tree. I took a bunch because I didn't know what I was going to use them for, but today's a perfect project for it. These uh, decorative wooden pieces. I don't know what they're called. Anyways, I'm using three of them and as you saw there, I just centered them as best as I could and taking a good amount of hot glue, gluing them down. I did make a mark of, you know, on the sides to make sure that I place them back where they're supposed to afterwards. 
So by the way, I'm not going to paint this. I'm not going to stain this. I feel like everything matches pretty perfectly from the wooden round thingies to the paint stir sticks to the wooden blocks. And I feel like if I leave it like this, it's going to match or it's going to look more like the one that I'm trying to recreate. But how long can I keep up the pace to fool myself? I don't need grace. Now taking some of these fairy lights from Dollar Tree, I'm going to take the battery pack and flip it around so that you can still take the cover off for the batteries, that part's at the bottom. Anyways, put a bunch of hot glue on there and then glue it to the bottom of one of these wooden round thingies. What are these called? <laughs> I just keep calling them wooden round thingies. So anyways, now I'm going to twist it over towards the inside of the frame and using a little bit of hot glue, glue the wire down. Don't put the light directly on there just make sure that it's the wire and then once the glue dries a little bit you can kind of tap it and it'll come up and over the wire I don't know if that makes sense it just it kind of helps adhere and you guys will kind of see on this part right here so I already flipped it around if you guys do recreate this you know just work your way um, up and around on the frame Afraid of the blame. 29 years I've been so up to this point I've spent seven dollars not really a lot of the stuff I already had on hand but anyways if you do recreate it you're gonna spend seven dollars but then once you add your little planters um, like the ones that I'm gonna add here I just had them in my stockpile you guys can add whatever ones you want and then I also have this new foliage that's from Dollar Tree so adding the planters and the foliage added six dollars to my expense
guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I had so much fun making this. I think it's probably one of my favorites. And I made it for $6 compared to, again, a life-size one. That's $2,500. But if you do want to see me make that life-size, remember to give this video a like. Let's get it to 5,000 thumbs up and I will try to recreate it in the next month or so so it's ready for spring and my patio decor. If you did enjoy this video, again, leave me a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Leave me your comments, concerns, questions, or anything else that you'd like to leave down there in the comments. I think I already said that. And another reminder, if you guys want to be involved in this and have ideas of something you want to see recreated, make sure you guys follow me over there on Pinterest and follow that board and send me your ideas there or on Instagram. All right, that is it, you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.